The core is the most essential part of anything. The core is where the seed exists. The core is where the seed exists. You know, I've often said that um, those of us who are here today, we're only seeds of those who came before us. And that's how we live on. I was taught that we live on through our seed. Now, when this man drove a tube, now, we, you know, today we have a tube, we, we call that the television. This man drove a tube all the way into the earth. He drilled a tube. And it reached the core of our being. The core. Now, we're going back there in that effort through the white man today. And then he placed high explosives in that tube. Now you know the kind of stuff you see on television today. You see a desensitizing force that makes children and adults basically lose their sense of humanity with respect to all the violence you see in the two, all the moral correction, corruption you see in the two. And it is practically in after being set off, and that's what they have done, that's what the God of the moon did, he set it off. And it knocked a lot of people. A lot of people have been followers. A lot of people have taken up all the ideas that were used in that explosion. And they have followed, you know, It's a lot going on. It's a lot going on. And I hope you can read what I'm saying without me being, uh, you know, I, I want to keep us at a level of supreme wisdom. I don't want us to go down where, you know, it's a little low, you know. I let you do that on your own, okay? But I'm not going to take you there. But there's a lot of things that are taking place today that are coming out of that explosion. Those high explosives, you know, the immorality, the uh, violence, everything that you see, the filth that you see in the tube today has been designed to destroy black man. Destroy the black man. Who, well, now, a part of it has worked because a lot of people have actually gone for it. But anyway, setting it off 66 trillion years ago, this is what happened. In setting it off, and this is what they're trying to do today. They're trying to set it off. And they're in process of setting it off. We, uh, we have a great example of being quarantined in Europe, okay, 
you seeing Europe being established again. And uh, we're being told that separation is absolutely necessary through social distancing. And we're also being told that there is a force of disease that exists in these human beings out here who have this COVID-19. So everybody has to wear a mask. Mask. Whether you have it or don't have it, wear a mask. Okay. Now, because it is, we have predicted that it's going to kill and take away the life of so many millions of people. I could share something with you that the world odometer.com has put out there that really would uh, mm, give you some information that you would be surprised. Uh, but no, some of you wouldn't be surprised. But anyway, so now, what happened, the explosion took place. Now, we're talking about a lot of dirt we're talking about earth is made up of all the minerals and the earth is, you know, dirt and everything else. Okay. A lot of things in the earth. But anyway, when he dropped these high explosives into the tube and set them off, it separated one part from the other part. So the part that we live on called the earth, it fell 36,000 miles in space. The part that had the idea that this is what we're going to do, they shot up 12,000 miles. At which time, there was a distance of 48,000 miles between the two parts or between the two people. And the people who were on the part that went up, gravity made them flip over and dump all of the water that they had back on this part where the people were falling and the vegetation remains, a lot of vegetation. That's why when the, uh, the people that went up to the moon uh, the, the messengers, the Savior had told the messenger years and years ago that the moon, the powder, the dirt on the moon smelled like gunpowder. That's because of the, the explosion that put it out there. And by the mere fact that we come up with enough machines through science and math, right down here on this earth, to produce a, a machine that can travel up there, tells you about how he got up there. Okay. Anywhere man can get to, uh, man put it there. So I know you, we, we have this idea of all these spooks and spirits doing things but we're not living in a spooky spirit world we're living in a world that is actual physical and it has measurements and the highest form of life in this entire universe 
is found in the original man here on this earth. And that's intelligence. And that's what enables the people here to do the things that they do. Nobody that believes in spooks and spirits is going to teach us how to fly airplanes. Let's be real. Nobody that fears invisible things is going to build us a world like the world that we have today. It's just not going to happen. So, what I'm saying to you is this. Those of you, now I'm really, I'm talking to the Muslim brothers now. You have these books. You have the book on the flag. You know the reality. You're being tried today. Surely you would not be left alone in saying we believe and not be tried. So now, if these people, if you can read the history of what the information that they're using to destroy you, and in the past it was used by someone like yourself and it didn't work why do you think it would work today separation was the key in the beginning when they came back into the holy land separation was the key when they were leaving the Holy Land to be made on the island of Patmos. The God of the Moon separated the two parts, brought into being what? One part we call Moon. What is it about? Moon is a sign of equality. And the equality sign that the moon really projects tells us the story of life. Life. And the messenger said in the book on the flag, it brought us six took us 66 trillion years to bring us to a significance of the turning point and the significance of the downfall of this world. Life. The God of the moon. He was a black man that decided he was going to destroy a black man. He was trying to, he actually destroyed himself. Because he wanted to rule the black man. And there is no such thing. The black man is self-created. So now, The only chance that the white man has to continue to rule the nations of the earth, particularly this black man in America, who is the head of the earth, is he's got to prevent them from seeking separation. And they have a plan to, to 
create that. They want us to uh, start fighting amongst ourselves over this COVID-19. Who wears a mask and who doesn't wear a mask. They want us to quarantine ourselves and not interact with each other because that keeps an atmosphere that they can easily maintain control of how we think. That controls the atmosphere. But as long as we're moving about and communicating with each other, it's, they can't control that atmosphere. So now, Allah says they plan, but he also plans. And he is the best of planners. So with that being said, I know this was a lot to say today. Get this book and read it, the flag of Islam. And let's get together and uh, get busy, go to work and do something. Messenger didn't tell us to do all this other stuff. He said, now that we have come face to face with God, we must not lay down. We must get up and go to work and do something. As-salamu alaykum.